So what do the numbers mean on the speed test meters shown in the latest app release? In this video, I'll share what I learned from Starlink support about the speed numbers and a bonus of what to expect. You may have seen a recent article complaining about Starlink not having any phone numbers or email to contact them about problems. Turns out the writer based the story on four people complaining on Reddit. In my experience with tech support, responses have been quick when I've had questions about something, and such was the case with the new speed test update. The old speed test, like most tests, gives you the average speed of download and upload as well as a ping for simplicity the time it takes for a signal to make a round trip between the device and the internet. Now the new speed test shows two meters, the speed of the device and router. Pretty much everyone in beta testing knows what a router is, but the question I had, as I mentioned in my previous video on the app, was what do they mean by device? Is it the phone running the app? Is it the dish? Is it something else? So I brought up the app and hit support to scan the list of questions and answers to see if there was an answer. Nope, no answer. So the app has a button if you can't find an answer. So I posed my question about what they meant by device since I interpret it as being the phone. It took an hour and a half before I got a reply from someone in tech support who explained in engineer speak that the device was the dish speed if I bypassed the router and connected my laptop directly to the dish. What? That posed further questions for clarification about LAN, router speeds, and speeds at various points in the connections. I attached screenshots to help them understand what I was asking. By the way, I did learn after several tests that screenshot attachments have to be JPEG because PNG will fail and not tell you why. I also mentioned that perhaps the labeling of the speeds should reflect reality to avoid confusion. My question was bumped to someone else, and then I got the real answer one hour later from a different person in tech support who translated the previous answer into English. The device number is the average speed of the connection talking to the satellites, and the router speed is the highest speed reached during the test. Pretty simple. Engineers sometimes forget that not everyone is an engineer and set things up a certain way because everyone understands this, but they don't. The actual response literally said, and I'll edit it down just to the basic answer, the router test right side, as of today, records the maximum value of the duration of your speed test. The device test left side records the average of all values during the whole period of your test. This is a common speed test you would run online, for example, fast.com. So that's it, left side, right side. Two things, the average and the maximum speed. I finalized the correspondence by noting that the manner in which they labeled the two speeds was causing confusion in the field, and it would be helpful if they just labeled them the way they're supposed to be. Nine minutes later, I received a response, indicating that the concern would be passed up the chain of command for correction in the next app update. Time will tell if they update the app or if they change what is measured. We will have to cross that bridge when we come to it. If nothing else can be learned from my interaction with tech support, no one could complain about their response time. Most problems about contacting Starlink are due to posting complaints on Facebook or Reddit instead of using the app or the online support to submit a technical question. Can you imagine what would happen to response time if every person who was given an estimate of mid-2021 to end of 2021 for delivery who is complaining about not having their system now was calling or emailing customer support continuously day and night asking about the status of their order? Real problems would never get answered. Maybe they just need to set up a phone number that plays a recording. Thank you for contacting Starlink. You can check the status of your order by logging into your account to see the current delivery estimate. I think lots of people forget about that. It would be a way of reminding them to check their account. Yeah, and Starlink is not completely off the hook. In July, they sent out a newsletter to beta users, but apparently not to those who made reservations. Perhaps publishing an update more often and expanding the distribution to include almost a million emails is an expense they don't want to take on, but it might reduce the communication gap that most people feel. At least add those four guys on Reddit. Have you ever dealt with Starlink support? Let me know about your experience in the comments. Please hit the thumbs up since it tells the algorithm to expand notification to more people.